delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Hello, senior high school students! Welcome back in today's episode of Lantao Compre, a television-based instruction of DepEd, Division of Tagum City. I am your teacher, Jeanette Hihada, and I will be here to help you acquire knowledge and skills by providing fun and meaningful opportunities as we discuss one of the lessons in housekeeping. Ready yourself as well as your learning material, pen and paper. Welcome to the world of housekeeping, pick up and delivering laundry. After going through this module, you are expected to First, discuss the principle of laundering such as collecting laundry. Second, perform Pick up laundry and deliver back to the guest. Lastly, identify the different forms used in laundry service. Before we head on to our lesson, you will answer a pretest. Let's begin. Choose the letter that bears the correct answer. You have 5 seconds for every item to answer. Number 1. It is a form that may be in duplicate or triplicate depending on hotel's accounting processes. A. Laundry docket B. Request form C. Bill of charges or D. All of the above Good start! The correct answer is letter A. Laundry docket Number 2 Every hotel must have a defined procedure on A. Collection of guest laundry B. Personality C. Characteristic of the person or D. None of the above The correct answer is letter A. Collection of guest laundry Number 3 this is where room attendant places laundry bags, either plastic or fabric, and laundry dockets when cleaning the guest room. A. Into the wardrobe or drawer. B. Wardrobe only. C. Drawer only. Or D. Bed. The correct answer is letter B. Wardrobe only. Number 4. It is a kind of documentation used for internal purposes. Monitor operating cost. A. Laundry form. B. Detergent monitor log sheet. C. Guest docket. Or D. Summary list. 
The correct answer is letter C, guest docket. Number five, it is a kind of form to record guest items that is being laundered. A, summary sheet. B, advice form. C, laundry docket. Or D, summary list. The correct answer is letter A, summary sheet. Great job, class! I know you could do it! Welcome once again to housekeeping, pick up and delivering laundry. This time, let us examine the procedures for processing guest laundry. Here are the sequences of information. First, Guests shall fill up the laundry list and shall pick up either through the housekeeping or laundry office, guest phone or through the front desk, or to any room supervisor or room attendant. Second, if the pickup request is forced through the laundry clerk, the laundry clerk logs down the guest instructions for the processing of items and calls the linen attendant, valet runner, or room boy for the pickup of the items. Third, the laundry list laundry items are picked up by concerned staff. Fourth, upon pickup of the laundry items, the attending staff checks items on the list in front of the guest if he is around, checks it in, the presence of a floor guard or room boy or supervisor who will be serving as a witness for damages. Stains or damage are found in the item. The valet runner or room attendant who picks up the laundry fill up the guest notification form to notify the guest of any damage or any discrepancy. Who do you think is responsible for bringing this notification to the guest? It is the room boy or the bellboy. This is the guest notification form. Remember that this form will be used to alert the guest of any noted damage on his garment that is sent for laundry. It is always best to notify him about the status of his clothing in advance. Otherwise, he might blame the hotel for the damage. Fifth, if the item is not suited for the requested processing method, cleaning, washing, or etc., the guest is also notified through the same notification form, indicating there in the recommended method in processing the item. Six, items for washing are endorsed to washer for processing. Upon receipt of the items, the washer shall count and double check items against the laundry list, sort and classify them, place the appropriate tag. If the item is for dry cleaning, color code it with blue tag. If the item is for machine washing, color code it with pink tag. 7. If the item is to be hand washed, washer should hand wash with care. After washing the laundry items, the washer endorses the finished items to the other laundry staff. Example, a yorner or presser. Further processing. 8. If the item is fit for other forms of processing, it is endorsed to other laundry staff, namely, presser for blouse, dresses, trousers, and related items, hand ironer for normal shirts, and utility presser for trousers, skirt, and long dresses. Upon receiving them, the attending staff shall double-check each item and shall not accept any discrepancies in quantity, 
damage part. 9. If the item needs no further processing, it is placed inside the pigeon box, if any, according to the tag. The linen attendant or valet runner sorts them against the laundry list when the item is ready for delivery. Flex all of each guest laundry items in a garment bag. Touches the laundry list to the bag and endorses it to the presser or linen attendant. 10. If the guest is on cash basis, a voucher is prepared by the laundry clerk to be attached to the billing item. Payment must be made upon delivery of the items. Here is the example of laundry voucher. Lastly, the processed items will now be delivered to the guest. If the guest is around, he is asked to sign the delivery logbook for acknowledgement. Then, the bill is presented to him for settlement. What if the guest is not around? Then, the housekeeping supervisor acknowledges it by signing the logbook. For cases like the room is on do not disturb sign and the said item is on a special service, a notification is placed in the guest room through the door. Another copy to the front office, notifying him that an attempt to deliver his laundry was made while he is on DND. If there were undelivered items, it must be brought back to the laundry area to be re-delivered upon the arrival of guest. Well, nice going! This time, it's your time to put into practice. Kindly refer to your module on page 9. Way to go! Since we are through the processing guest laundry, let us now examine another procedure. This time, procedures about pickup of guest laundry. Number 1. Room attendant. Room boy or valet runner, whoever is in charge, shall pick up the guest laundry together with the laundry list from the guest rooms. 2. Validate the actual count of items in the laundry list against the one listed. 3. Check for possible damages like missing buttons, discoloration, and others. Number 4. Inform the guest, if he is around, of the noted count. 5. Indicate the damage in the laundry list. 6. Up items are placed in a plastic laundry bag and then placed directly in the linen chute or taken personally to the linen or laundry section. 7. The linen attendant shall pick up the soiled linen from the laundry chute, then records in the logbook all soiled linen that were gathered from the tube, indicating the number of pieces for each item and damages if any. 8. The soiled items are turned over to the linen in charge. The latter shall acknowledge receipt of the item by signing in the endorsement form or in the logbook. Is there a need for segregation and tagging of laundry? To facilitate processing of laundry items, they should be segregated and labeled. Each category has a particular laundry requirement. And if improper laundry work is carried out, there is a risk of damaging the linen. We have to segregate items by color. White items must be separated from colored ones. Another, segregate items by classification. 
towels from bed sheets and so on and wet from dry also segregate items by the extent of dirt separating the heavily soiled items from lightly soiled items for further details about sorting marking procedures kindly refer page 12 of your module you certainly did well today keep it up let us try this exercise your house there is a soiled clothes bin in a paper jot down five items of those clothes and put some remarks that you have seen on the clothes refer to this example if you are through continue answering let us practice more of your module your answers will be collected at the end of the week keep working you're on the right track now let us ponder some important points for this lesson by filling in the blanks. Number 1 Well done! If the room is on Do Not Disturb sign or D&D and the item is on Special Service, a notification is placed in the guest room through the door. Number 2 You're doing great! Validate actual count of items against the one listed in the laundry list. Number 3 You got it! Undelivered items are brought back to the laundry area to be re-delivered upon the arrival of guests. Number 4 Definitely! To avoid complaints, the laundry staff should strictly abide with the instructions of guests regarding his laundry items. Great job, senior high students! You did very well! Keep it up! Another session has again ended. I hope you've learned a lot from today's lesson. See you all in the next episode of our Lantau Compre, School on Air through Television. Once again, this is your teacher broadcaster, Jeanette Tejada, leaving you a famous quotation. Lunge it today or naked tomorrow.